What's up everybody, Blue Gabe here. As you can see, I'm hooked to the boat. We're headed to Sebastian, Florida to Captain Hiram's opening day of red snapper season. I've got Andrew Hunt, Kimmy and Mac, good friends of mine. Awesome little kid, Abram, who's 10 years old. Does full-fledged catch, clean, and cooks on his own. I got Steph, I got my son Jake. I don't know what's in store for us, but y'all stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> He just spanked that big fish on that little rod and you got spanked by a big fish on a big rod. Mama's clearly bigger. Clearly. <laughs> good job, Mac. Where'd you go, Mac? Dinner! Oh yeah, where are you good? That's a stun. Our first red snapper. We're off the coast of Sebastian. We thought this was going to be a whole lot easier, but it's proven to be a little bit difficult. We got broke off some big fish, caught a couple this size, turned them loose. This one ain't getting turned loose. How big do they got to be? We're going to have to check fish rules. We better check fish rules. Minimum size is 20 inches. Nope. Too short. Get him, Gabe! Woo! It's really important you get these fish up out of these rocks before they get you into the rock. Can I get that big net, boys? Uh, it's up under. Oh, it's a goofy jack. <laughs> <laughs> Matt catches a big mutton and I catch a little reef donkey. <laughs> what do you got? I think we got a fish. That's a spud, man. We're out here in about 90 foot of water. We've tried everything you can imagine for bait. We got sardines. We got two, three different kinds of live bait. They're being real picky, but this one picked the wrong one. All right, y'all, we just got in. This has been a hard show, like an extremely hard show. 
I thought I was gonna go out there and catch these red snapper with my eyes closed. I don't even know how to describe what happened. We all had giant fish on. We up leaders. We did everything we could do. We're back here at Captain Hiram's. I'm gonna clean these fish. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna do a taste test on what's the difference between a mutton, flounder, and mangrove snapper because we actually did catch those today. Another big thing too is we caught two keeper muttons or two keeper red snapper and you're gonna see the footage. I looked on fish rules. It said that they had to be 20 inches long. I turned them loose because one was like 15 inches and the other one was like 19 inches. It wasn't until I got back that I see that I didn't read the directions correctly. Yeah, I was wrong. You're allowed one and it can be any size. So I turned two perfectly good fish loose, but it is what it is. And for those of y'all who don't know Abram, he's a big fan of ours. We met on Instagram. Stand up, Abram. Hey. Y'all, this cat here is 10 years old and does catch, clean, and cooks on his own. We're about to make him famous. Y'all don't even know that. There's his parents. All right, so a bunch of y'all have been telling me to put more cleaning in my videos. Clean, show us how to clean the fish. We got a big mutton, big mangrove, and a big flounder. Some of y'all know it as a fluke. I'm gonna show y'all how to clean each one, but just the side. And then on this big mutton, I'm gonna show y'all how I got the throats out. All right, we're gonna knock the side off before we take his throat off. Just following that backbone. Come in here and angle your knife down. Anyhow, that's the one side of the mutton filet. I'm gonna leave the skin on because the chefs at Captain Hiram's were gonna cook it for us and we want the skin on. Now the throats. Watch carefully because this is a lot harder to, than what I mean, made it seem the other day. So you gotta come up under the gill. Cut that right there. And you sort of just peel it off. like that that's how we did it now trim just a little bit of that off you're ready to rock all right so throat number two just like that once you make that bottom cut you sort of just twist it off that's how you do a throat. All right, this is my buddy Justin here. He owns the Filet Show Outfitters, right? Fish and Charters. Fish and Charters. The Filet Show oh. Fish and Charters. So for any of y'all wanting to come to the Sebastian and getting on anything, flounder, trout, redfish, snook, tarpon, red snapper offshore grouper. Mangrove snapper, Man big mangrove. Big mangrove snapper. I'll have everything about him in the description below. He's the only reason he was the first guy I met when we came here back with Robert deer meat for dinner when we did the pompano show. He's helped us out tremendously. All his information will be in the description below. Time for the fluke, AKA flounder. <laughs> and I've only cleaned about five of these, so y'all don't be hating all y'all flounder fishermen. Don't be saying, oh, Blue Gabe, he don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna come right here. Now the reason I'm leaving the skin on is we're doing a taste tester tonight. We're having the chefs at Captain Hiram's cook all three, mutton, mangrove, and flounder. We're gonna see which one tastes the best. All right, it's the mangrove's turn. Do the same thing, scale him, keeping the skin on. This one's no different than the mutton, just, or the flounder really, just come in here behind us, right on top of his fin. It's 
come in. Some people will cut the rib bones, cut right through them, or some people will just do it off. That's what I chose to do. Now we're gonna take this mangrove, the flounder, and this big chunk of mutton in the restaurant. And Justin's gonna come join us for dinner. We're gonna see what tasted best. You don't get it on your first try. I probably won't get it on my If you first do, that's I'll 10 bucks. That <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Else I can get for you guys? Y'all, look at that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so we got Parmesan crusted and butter garlic. And I hijacked somebody's kid. And a baby. <laughs> and a baby. A fun fight. All right, every, all we're gonna do is just take a couple bites. We're not gonna like make y'all sit and watch us full-fledged eat. So everybody get a couple forks. Oh, look at that fish though. Oh man. All right, Canada, get you a bite and tell us how much you think. Come on, get a bite, Abram. Alright, now try the butter garlic. Just like a typical youngin. Which one? Butter garlic. <laughs> Butter garlic. <laughs> we'll go with the butter garlic on that one. Jake, come on. I think the butter garlic mutton. Which one? Butter garlic mutton. Come on, Mr. Justin. Actually, we need to know what's the best between flounder, mutton, and mangrove. Justin's the guy. He does this day in and day out. We're going to let him be the judge right now. What was your first bite? That's the mutton. Very good. That's a flounder. Mutton's definitely better than that. No, that's mangrove. I think the mangrove is best. That's mangrove? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is mangrove. It tastes like the mutton, but it's firmer. I always think mangrove is better than mutton. So you don't like the I'm flounder the over them? No, dude, I think both of those it are better than the flounder. Oh, Yo, look at that throat, though. Look at that throat, though. That was bad, dude. Pass that down here. That's a good throat, y'all. That was the throat? Yeah. Jeez, man, there's all kinds of meat on that. Oh, yeah. There's so much meat has to get out. All right, so what's the verdict? Mangrove, flounder, or mutton? It's a toss-up. I think it's all good. I'm with Mac on this one. It's all good, but we need a verdict. And I guess right now we're going to say, I'm sorry, y'all, it's loud, but everybody voted on the mangrove, believe it or not. Mangrove won over mangrove, mutton, or flounder. What do you think, Steph? Make it quick. She said mangrove, too, y'all, so that's what it is. All right, y'all, we're done. We're out. Peace out. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for the positive comments. We're done. We're finished. We're tired. We're hot. Until next time, we go.